Staring out into the blue on a dreamboat setting sail. Spin in a Grimm's brother's yarn to catch a fairy by the tail. Bark in a fable, out in a song, root with the dog, get along. As long as I'm able, as long as they write, root with the dog will recite. Get along, little Rufus, get along, little Rufus, this pooch has got get go on this here puppy show. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, hi there. <laughs> yep, it's me, the one and only Rufus the dog. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll get to our story in a minute, but uh, first I got a little cleaning up to do. <sighs> a dog's job is never done. Do you ever wish you could change? You know, maybe make yourself just a little bit, um, taller? <laughs> well, now, don't get me wrong, I like being me. But sometimes, I think I'd like to be taller, or maybe change into a whole new animal. Yeah, like, um, like a mountain goat. Then I could climb up this bookcase like no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. Yep, I just thought of the story we should read today. It's about a man who does change into something else. It's really good. Good and scary. <laughs> the amazingly strange case of Dr. Rufus and Mr. Snide. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go. Dr. Rufus and his assistant, Stanley Squeamish, lived and worked in foggy old London town. <laughs> ah, it looks like the fog is clearing up. Ah, Squeamish, come quickly. I need you. <laughs> quickly now, mix a gob of green goo. Ah. All right. With a pinch of purple guck. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And be careful not to enrage the beige. Ah. No, 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 no. The, not the gunk. The goo. The oh. goo. Be oh. careful, man. Ah. You could blow this lab all the way to what's it's here for sure. Careful, squeamish. Careful. Shaken, not stirred. Ah. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. And there you have it. Perfect. It's getting harder and harder to brew a good cup of tea. <laughs> ah. Squeamish, have you ever dreamed of changing yourself? Why, do I smell? Yeah, no, I don't mean it like that. I mean changing yourself for the better. Making yourself smarter and nicer. You know, I'm working on a magic potion that will change people. Wash away the bad and leave only the good. So it might help me get rid of my annoying, yappy little bark. Yip, yip. Um, well, let's not get our hopes up. Please, you must tell me about it. Well, it's all very hush-hush. Please. Oh, very well. By tickling the dangly dipidendrites of the hypohippopotamus, I believe I can invent a potion which separates the good from the bad. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. It sounds very promising. Mm -hmm. Oh my, are we out of tea already? <laughs> well, let me make some more. It's no trouble. Later that night, when Stanley returned... Uh, hello, Dr. Rufus. Are you home? Oh my dearie gracious. What happened? Uh... Rufus? Uh, are you all right? <laughs> I don't get it. What's going on here? Oh, say, you got anything else to eat around here? Anything else to eat? Who are you? Where's Dr. Rufus? No, oh, who cares? He's a wimp. <laughs> and what's this? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I went a little postal. <laughs> Those letter carriers look better in shorts anyway. <laughs> oh, boy, you're a... Bad dog. Hey, come on, relax, <laughs> little fella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, how dare you? Oh, those are Dr. Rufus's private doggy treats. They're only for very special occasions. Be a good dog. Hey, chill out, big guy. Gee, talk about a dog with a bone. I'm just having a little fun here. <laughs> Sir, I must ask you one more time. Who are you? They call me Snide. Mr. Snide. I'm Dr. Rufus's, um, uh, brother. Yeah, that's it. I'm his big brother. <laughs> so, you want to go to the park? 
tree a few squirrels? I think not. Oh, come on. Let's you and me have a little fun. Life's too short, especially in dog years. Let's run wild. Oh, no, absolutely not. Are you chicken? Come on. Trust me, it's time to get your paws dirty. Well, I don't well, do I'll that. show you a street with more hydrants than you can shake a leg at. Really. Oh, hey, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Dressing up to the canines tonight. Hear me bark, baby. I'm all by tonight, tonight, tonight. Got a hankering to break some laws. Be the baddest devil on both paws. Tonight, gonna paint this town yellow. I dine on fine sash and feline. No need to pray, old fellow. This town is mine tonight. Tonight, 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 tonight. Be a good lad. It mellow for tonight. Don't cause a scene here, Easter. Keep it polite tonight, 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 tonight. Bossing and fighting and barking and fighting, chewing it up tonight. And so it was that Mr. Snide led little Stanley Squeamish on a journey to his darker side. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do? Mr. Snide must hide. Yeah. This is Officer O'Malley, the dog catcher. Let me in. Oh, I've been a bad dog. Why did I let Mr. Snide talk me into doing those things? I know you're in there. Now open up. I must clean myself up. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, hello, officer. What can I do for you? <laughs> well, there's been quite a few complaints about a bad dog living at this residence. Uh, you won't mind if I uh, look around a little bit, will you? Oh, no, not at all. But as you can see, there's no bad dog here. No. No, there. Oh, I wonder what would be over there. Oh, oh no, sir. No, no. Oh, no, no, sir. You can't come in here. Huh? Hello, squeamish. Hello, officer. What seems to be the trouble? Oh, what? Where? where? Oh, Dr. Rufus. I'm sorry, sir, but there was a report of a bad dog running into your house. Well, as you can see, that's utter flibberty gibberty There are no bad dogs here. Well, of course, I can see that now. Well, good day to you, sir. Sorry for bothering you. That's all right. Bye-bye, officer. Take care on the way out. Well, squeamish. Huh? Shall we tidy up and have some tea? Some... some tea? Huh? Oh, dear. <sighs> Why, Squeamish, what's the matter? Are you expecting someone? Oh, I'm just concerned about your brother, Mr. Snide. He seems to have vanished. Ah, uh, yes, my, uh, <clears throat> my brother. Yes, well, I'm sure he'll be along any time now. Uh, uh, sit, stay, uh, have yourself some tea. Oh. Oh. So, um... Uh, what do you think of our Mr. Snide? Oh, to be honest, I don't like him one bit. Well, but don't you admire his sense of uh, fun? Oh, that's not fun. He's an animal. He's a very bad dog. Well, uh, perhaps, but uh, sometimes I wish I was more like him. Well, good night, Squish. It's time for Betty Buys. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Good night. See you in the morning. Ah. Well, I'm not going to bed. I will hide and wait for Snide. <laughs> Later that night, Squeamish heard a noise. Yes. Aha. <laughs> nice, fruity, and... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
<laughs> Let's party. <laughs> oh, hey, now look what you made me do. That was the last of the magic formula. Say, now I get to be a bad dog forever. <laughs> Stanley, Stanley, you seem rather squeamish tonight. I think it's time to howl. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Rufus, what happened to you? Nothing, my little friend, and it's Mr. Snide, not Rufus. I just thought it was time to let my hair down a little. <laughs> thought I'd go over and dig up the neighbor's new lawn. Want to come? Oh, no, it isn't right. You must change back. It's a very thin line between right and wrong, don't you think? Come on, let's go drink out of the toilet bowl. Oh, no, you're wicked. You're a very, very, very bad dog. Yeah, whatever. Oh, oh, please, please be a good dog. Sorry, you're barking up the wrong tree there, Squeaky. It's time to party hardy! <laughs> oh, no. oh, but, but. Oh, yes. As Rufus prowled the night, squeamish mixed giant gobs of gunk with blue hues of goo to try and find the magic mixture that would change back Mr. Snide into the good Dr. Rufus. Finally, the formula was ready. There. Now all I have to do is wait for Mr. Snide to return. I hope he likes tea. <laughs> Later that night, Squeamish knew his chance had finally come. <laughs> Mr. Snide must hide. Open up! It's all for sure, O'Malley. They've got me. What should I do? How about a nice cup of tea? Tea? Ha! No way! Tea's for sissies. I taste really bad. Okay. Give me that. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Squeamish. Thank you for helping me to find myself. Oh, Dr. Rufus. Oh, it's good to have you back. Get a hold of yourself. May we always be good dogs. Ah, uh, yes. And thank goodness, now everything is back to normal, and there was no real harm done. Well, I guess there's no bad dogs here. Let's go look somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, well, just goes to show you there are some things dogs were not meant to tamper with. Yes, like, like chewing on slippers. Yeah, well, something like that. Let's get back to the lab and brew up some more tea. <laughs> and there ends the tale of Dr. Rufus and Mr. Snide. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, parts of that were pretty scary. You know, somebody once said to me, be careful of what you wish for, it might come true. Whew. That's pretty good advice, you know. Well, I guess we all have times when we wish we were bigger or older or something. But you know, I think it's better to be just who you are. And till next time, I'll be just who I am. <laughs> Rufus the dog. See ya.